guys. Well, good morning for me. So I've got a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Uh, I went there for some spices and uh, some instant coffee for something I'm doing for my other channel, my crafting channel. And uh, while I was in there, I got looking around in the grocery section, canned goods, dried goods, things like that. In our Dollar Tree, I know some have like a uh, refrigerated section. Uh, we don't have that in ours, uh, or at least the one closest to me doesn't have it. Um, and so uh, I usually will pick up canned goods while I'm in there if they're a good deal or something like that. But I found some stuff, um, new stuff that I hadn't seen before. And uh, like I'm not in there a lot, but um, it, it lo all looked new to me. Um, so I thought I would bring it to you and show you what I found and uh, uh, it's everything is still a dollar at our Dollar Tree. I have the receipt here to show for it. Everything's a dollar. We do pay tax here, sales tax of uh, uh, 5%. So it is what it is. But anyway, I was going to show you uh, this first thing. I've already opened it, but these are freeze dried apples. They also had um, strawberry, they had a, like a mixed bag of them, strawberries and raspberries. Uh, I can't remember, I think there was three different kinds of fruit, I don't know, I've already eaten them. I sometimes will put them when I have regular oatmeal. I'll make up my oatmeal and I'll put that, kind of sprinkle those in there and just let them hydrate a little bit and that's what I have. But this is a uh, six ounce, 0. 0.6 ounce bag. But you get quite a few in there. I've eaten a couple out of there. Um, and this is what they look like. Freeze-dried apples. And they taste like apples, but dry instead of the juice that you get when you bite into them. They're actually pretty good to snack on when you want something. They, they're uh, 60 calories. No fat, no cholesterol, uh, no sodium. Uh, carbs are 15 grams, and you got fibers and just sugars from the natural uh, fruit itself. But they're gluten-free, no preservatives. They're natural. So, uh, I don't know. This is called So Natural, uh, vegan-friendly, delicious way to snack. So, I thought I'd show you guys. They're at the Dollar Tree for a buck, and it's a good snack. I mean, I couldn't eat this all in one sitting. Um, so, but pretty cool. Uh, this other thing that I got, this is new. It says new great taste and I haven't tried this and I haven't thought of putting garlic and herb in my tuna, but this is what they have. These packets of tuna, bumblebee seafoods, and this is wild caught tuna, roasted garlic and herb. I love garlic. If you haven't seen in my channel, I use it a lot in my cooking, like a lot. It's a staple here. Um, I passed it on to my daughter. She's the same. Never too much garlic. Sometimes I think my husband is like, really more garlic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just thought this looked really yummy and I wanted to try it. So I'll probably do like a taste test on it, but it contains 14 grams of protein. I like these little packets. They're flat if you wanna carry them. You can rip it open and, and uh, eat it right out of the package unless you absolutely have to have it mixed with mayo or whatever you mix it with. Um, but I wanna try it because I wanna see how garlic and tuna taste together. And then I'll buy more. I did only buy one. Um, they also had some other flavors. Um, Chipotle tuna maybe something like that it was like a hot hot which I don't mind but Scott's not a huge fan so I'm trying to get stuff that maybe um, you know in our pantry that that he would eat too so <clears throat> so I got the this one and uh, we'll do a taste test and try it out um, I saw this seasoning this is an eight ounce jar well it's not filled all the way it's about it's about right here, so by weight. Um, but they could have gone with a smaller package. 
But anyway, I thought for a buck, this is the steakhouse seasoning. They did have another kind. Terrible at remembering what they are. But um, but I thought this was a pretty good, pretty good deal for a buck. So um, I'm gonna keep that. You can never have too many seasonings in your pepper pantry for sure. I'm gonna open it a little bit. Mm, yep, definitely I can smell some garlic and some pepper and some yumminess in there. There's salt, which I'm trying to stay away from, but I wouldn't use a lot. Um, black pepper, red pepper, caraway seeds, dill seeds, and ec uh, extractive of paprika. Love paprika too, love that. So some other stuff that I got, I got some spices. I got cinnamon, which is 2.25 ounces, and I got um, pumpkin spice, which is 1.25 ounces. So I got these for my crafting channel to do something on, but again, just a heads up, you can never have too many spices or herbs for your prepper pantry. Um, things are gonna taste bland if you can't get uh, different kinds of food, the same kind of food all the time, and uh, you know, you're gonna wanna put different stuff on them, and you know, why not? So the other thing I needed for my channel was instant coffee. So I got a jar of that, a dollar, pretty good. Uh, I got one of these Betty Crocker uh, Tupperware like bowls with the little pop top lid. Uh, I always pick these up because mine, I go through them so quickly and Scott takes them to work. Thought this would be a good bowl for some of my stews and soups that I send with him. Um, this might work pretty well for that instead of the little square, you know, sandwich ones that I've been sending them in. So um, I picked that up and uh, this is a storage container and I'm not sure if it can be heated. Anyway, it can be stored in there and then he can put it in whatever he wants. So the other thing that I got, Valentine's is out already. Um, it's creeping up on us fast. It's almost a month away. I can't believe we're already into January as far as we are already. But they have these hard candy, these strawberry flavored ones. I love on the inside, there's like a little bit of a strawberry jelly um, mix in there. Um, I don't know, it's like a liquid. And uh, so I love these things. And they're naturally fat free, of course. Um, calorie free, no, just kidding. They're uh, two pieces are 50 calories. Um, and of course they have sugars in them but not a lot 10 grams uh, I don't see any sodium um, total fat is zero so I don't know but anyway these are great to have in your prepper pantry for if you want something sweet and you don't have anything right handy or you can't bake anything grab a couple of these there you go so I got two bags of these a buck a piece I'm gonna put these away so we have something sweet for another time now these are some other new items they found. These are enticingly easy, savor the simple things. This is chicken enchilada soup mix, creamy cheesy chicken enchilada soup. Uh, and then it has a recipe on the back for the uh, chicken enchilada soup, which is pretty simple. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, five ingredients, that's it. So um, that's pretty cool, I like that. But I thought this was, this is new, and it serves four, it says. Uh, sometimes I don't use the soup mixes for soup. Sometimes I'll use them to put in my meatloaf. Uh, if I'm making chicken, which I am today, I've got some chicken that I am thawing out, and I'm gonna use another one of these on that as like a, a topping for that chicken. So chicken enchilada soup serves for one dollar for this box, and you get a recipe on the box. I didn't know how to make chicken enchilada soup. And I got lots of chicken if you haven't seen my Canon video, right up here. Okay, Southwestern Ranch Dip Mix. This is again the enticingly easy um, box. It says serves eight, it's a single pack, 8.8 um, .8 grams. And again, on the back, you got two recipes, Southwestern Ranch Dip Mix and Fiesta Ranch Dressing. Um, the dressing is probably more what I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, my chicken thighs 
put them on a pan, dry them off, and then I'm going to mix this into some um, mayonnaise and a little garlic and a little salt and pepper, possibly, potentially, depending on, because um, this doesn't say it has any salt. It says garlic powder, chili powder, buttermilk powder, black pepper, cilantro, contains milk ingredient. But anyway, and then I'm gonna put this on my chicken thighs and bake them in the oven. And so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see how that tastes and give that to Scott for his lunch. Hopefully it's good. Okay, and then this one is the cheesy garlic biscuit mix. The garlic got me, you know, cheese and garlic. Uh, it's got As Asiago Parmesan and cheddar cheese combined with garlic to delight your taste buds with every bite. You had me at garlic. Uh, it's a single pack, makes four biscuits. It's a very small box. Cheesy garlic biscuits recipe on the back. You only need four ingredients. Super simple. This, I thought this would be great, um, you know for just Scott and I maybe to mix up some time. I usually buy, I keep a lot of Bisquick on hand or some baking um, mix, mixture that's like Bisquick and I can make up some small batches of garlicky cheesy Bisquick um, biscuits. But I saw this and it was new and I wanted to show you guys because maybe it's just a couple people and, you know, in your family, just you and someone else or just you and you want to make some of these. These would be great to do some breakfast sandwiches with with some egg and your sausage, bacon, uh, ham, name your meat and or no meat and uh, put it on there and cheese, warm it up. You get an awesome uh, breakfast sandwich made up and you can make four of them. So, I mean, freeze them up and then take them out as you need them. So um, I thought this was pretty cool. We'll try, we'll make this up too and try it and see what that tastes like. Last but not least, of course these were all a dollar as well too. Each box was a buck. Now, last but not least, if you haven't been into the Dollar Tree and seen their whole aisle of aluminum pans, you should definitely do that. Um, in a shit hits a fan, SHTF, uh, scenario, <laughs> let's say, um, and you don't have water, but you need to bake something, or you want to put something maybe on the top of your stove. Some of these pans, this one's just a really thin pan. I got this for my craft and channel. This is not for my stash, although I do have some in my stash. Um, they have all different sizes. They have all different shapes. They have some with lids. They have some without lids. This is a two pack for a dollar. They're very flimsy. These you know these aren't going to be for uh, you know use over and over and over again but if you don't have water and you can't do dishes and you want to just throw stuff away when you're done cooking on it these would be perfect um so i wanted to show you those and give you some some kind of tips and ideas on that so hopefully that helps just noticed it's snowing out there great more shoveling and plowing to do Hopefully this gives you some ideas on what to get for your pantry, some new items, stuff to think about. If you're looking for any other ideas on prepping, I'll put a playlist over here and uh, we'll see you guys soon.